is sprinting away from the 1200 meter marker. Not a bad beginning. River Quiraris is right there in the early stages. Glittering Gull very quick with the red sleeves on the right. Over on the inside, Sabatini leads it from Magic Tycoon. Down followed by Princess Ozma. Certainly is in the green. Ecoria races by itself in the middle of the track. They are followed further back by Bobbles and Beads, then Time for Glory. And they are followed further back in the run at this stage by Red Roses 2. Races about five or six lengths off the leader. And I'm looking for Miss Cool at this stage. Let's see Miss Cool is two off the right hand side. Got four or five lengths to make up with right on. Absolute stampede coming to the 300. Sabatini the leader. Glittering girl towards the outside of that one. Amina's trying to put in a claim. Further back in the runner. Sweet Pepper. Miss Cool's under pressure. Down the inside of that. Time for glory. And Glittering girl. Reva Corraris is running on it. Corey on the inside. Glittering girl. Sweet Pepper becomes a big runner. Sweet Pepper on the outside. Side, glittering girl down the inside of that river Quiraras. It goes to Sweet Pepper. Second place, glittering girl. Third river Quiraras. And that is the running of the Alan Robertson Championship. And it goes to number 12, Sweet Pepper. This the trippy and wins it. And not in your picture at this stage. At this stage, glittering girl is the leader under Muzieni. And Sweet Pepper comes strong under Kelvin Habib and will win a close decision. Number 12, Sweet Pepper ends up winning it by about a head or so. So number 12 is the winner. Second, number 13, glittering girl. Third to number 10, River Quiraras. Fourth place to Ecoria. Very nice run. Fifth place to number 9, Amina. And further back in the run was Time for Glory and then Miss Cool. And further back was Ride On. The tote favourite was number 14, Miss Cool. Came under early pressure, did Miss Cool. And Sabatini leads it with orange sleeves. Glittering Girl moved up to win it. But Sweet Pepper comes on very nicely. And Sweet Pepper, the trippy, Sean Terry for Drakenstein Stud, who also bred. Calvin Habib and this horse has now won three from three, remains unbeaten. And number 12, 970, 340, back to the studio. Fourteenth Group One winner for Sean Terry here at Hollywood Bet Scottsville. When it rains, it pours. Last year, under your spell, Sean Terry, Kelvin Habib won the Alan Robertson. Twenty twenty two, Sean Terry, Kelvin Habib, and Sweet Pepper. This time for the blue and white team of Drakenstein Stud. What a season they're having, mainly thanks to Sean Terry. We've got the uh, winning groom here, of course, with the Groom's Initiative from Gold Circle and Hollywood Bets. David and Vubel. David, have you been in Durban with the horse for a while, or have you been stuck in Joburg? Yeah. Well done. Thanks, sir. Yeah. I'm so very happy about my horse and appreciate for happy with my job and my champion trainer and assistant Andres and Sharok. Your jockey and your trainer are very proud of you. David, very well done. Group one winner. Enjoy the prize. Thanks, sir. Let's get winning jockey Calvin Habib in here. His first group one win was in the Allen Robertson 12 months ago with Under Your Spell. You love this place and you love this race. 100%, uh, Ali. Yeah, I love this day and um, look, I just need to thank Mr. Terry and Mr. Jarkenstein and Mrs. Rupert for giving me this opportunity. It's, you know, it's an honour to ride in these colours and to ride them a Group 1, what, what better? You sat back in the early stages, chased a few horses that looked like they had the right form. They looked like the right horses during the race. Were you a little bit further back than what you wanted to be or was that just absolutely perfect? Look, initially I wanted to be a little bit closer, but uh, we did go at a good pace and um, Look, I won this race from, from last with under your spell, so I never, there was no panic stations. And um, she's she a true professional, this filly. And uh, look, she, she, got a, she got herself into gear at the right time, and uh, she was all hard to win today. And look, I just want to thank once again Mr. Terry, to the whole team back at home, to my beautiful wife, to my brother, who's my agent, doing a great job. And uh, to my family in Mauritius, <laughs> this one's for them. You've rode this horse three times. One on all three occasions. Does she give you the impression that she's just getting? I know she just won a group one, but does she give you the impression that she's only getting better and stronger now? 100%, Ellie. Um, she's she's just getting better and better each time I ride her. She's learning about racing and look. Uh, as I say, she's a true professional. So from day one, she's been good. So I'm just really uh, happy and I'm trying to enjoy the moment. Uh, you know, they don't come around every day, group one. So just trying to enjoy the moment and just thank you to everyone that's involved. Well,
Well, as you came back into the winner's enclosure, Sean Terry said you brought your A game. You certainly did. More rounds like that, there'll be more group ones. Accept your prize from Mayesh Chetty, who, of course, is a chairperson of Gold Circle Racing Club and also a director of Gold Circle and a huge supporter of racing. And uh, Mayesh and I go back a long way. Well done, Calvin. I just want to thank uh, um, Hollywood Bits and uh, to Gold Circle, to everyone that got this uh, day to where it is today. Thank you very much. And to my sponsors, Last but not least, Fundamali, thank you very much. Bit of a full circle moment there for Calvin Habib, having won this Group 1 last year and winning it again. We're going to get winning trainer Sean Terry into the number one box. 14th Group 1 here at Hollywood Bet Scottsville. Sean, that feeling never gets old, does it? No, listen, that's what we're in the game for. We uh, target Group 1s, and you know when you pull one or two off, you've done your job, and it's very rewarding. But, but in that breath, you can't do it without the owners that have got a similar way of thinking as you and uh, obviously to Gaino, Drakenstein, I know what the mandate is, very easy to focus on those particular races and give the horse the best of everything. Let's talk about game plan because obviously she won very early in the season, one of the first ju uh, juvenile races over 1800 meters and then not seen for a few months, was that always the plan, get her out, get her winning and then target this day or was, did something sort of go pear shaped in between yeah. because it's testament to your training ability again. Well, uh, it was sort of the plan, but not a five-month break. She had a bad muscle strain, and we had to nurse her through it. I felt that I'd just made the last target, and it, I always said if we get away with that, we'll go for the group one. So we gave her the time, we did everything right, and the rest of the filly did herself. Generally, when you get to juvenile features, Sometimes I don't necessarily train on, but I'm just thinking of all your winners over the years. Celtic Sea, Carry On Alice, last year under your spell, they've all trained on, and I expect nothing different from her. I mean, being a trippy out of a very well-performed mare, you'd expect that she's not done. I think a lot's got to do with um, how much they're ready for. If you want to extract every last bit out of them at two, they're going to be found wanting at three. And when you've got owners that are going to sit back and give you all the time and resources that you need, it's not an issue. Speaking of the owners, just the rain in Holland people. Sure, isn't that uh, those silks going well, eh? Last week was phenomenal. We've had a fantastic season, and uh, I can't think of more deserved uh, winners. Sean, well done. Top job. Great win. 14 group ones here at Hollywood Bet Scottsville. That's hard to do. Just a big thanks to the team at home. It takes a lot of work and effort. A special note to my physio. She's done a real good job. We had a problem with this filly, and we've come through it with flying colours. Might not be done just yet. Sean Terry accepting the prize from Mayesh Chetty. Uh, very well done to Sean. There are a few Alan Robertson Championship trophies um, in Midrand. And there's another one to add. Kevin Somerville. What an unbelievable season. It just doesn't stop. But it's, it's everything from day one, from birth, or even before that, from deciding which mare is going to which stallion, trippy as Drakenstein as Drakenstein gets. And look at the product that you've ended up with. No, it's, it's, uh, it's been an incredible season for Gaynor and, um, you know, she absolutely deserves all of it. So, um, you know, thanks very much to Sean and his whole team. Um, Trippy continues to be a complete legend for us. And, uh, you know, Kelvin, who rode such a beautiful race, he, he didn't um, panic at all and just let the filly do her job. In terms of the blood that goes with the green pepper was obviously a very well-performed mare trained by Johan Janssen van Furen, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but... You know, she always stood out as a type of horse that would be valuable, or type of mare that would be valuable when she goes to the paddocks. Sure, I mean, I think that that's been one of our um, sort of philosophies, I guess, over the last few years to, to concentrate on buying some decent fillies in training that are, you know, suited to South African sort of conditions. So that seems to be going well at the moment. And, uh, you know, this filly will, will come back to the, to the farm at some point in her life and, uh, you know, hopefully continue to build on the family. Think of everything that Drakenstein touches, Lomarong, Queen's Plate Day, and every horse that's uh, obviously done the business this season. So good things happen to good people. Kevin, well done. Give our best to Gaynor. Give our best to everyone back at the farm. And keep it up. There's another trophy coming your way. Thanks very much, Alistair. And just obviously thanks to Gold Circle and everybody here. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Brilliant. Kevin Somerville on behalf of Drakenstein Stud for uh, Gaynor Rupert. Very well done to the team out in the Cape. That was absolutely brilliant. I'm sure they shouted the house down and Drakenstein with yet another feature race winner this season. It hasn't stopped and long may it continue. Last week, two group ones with Safe Passage and with uh, Silver Darling. Obviously, Rain and Holland willing the Volkerbos Drift, Triple Tiara and a few other big names that have done the business this season. And now another one to remember. It's Sweet Pepper, Sean Terry and Calvin Habib for the second year in succession have won the group one, Alan Robertson and Sweet Pepper is the name to remember.
Thank you.